guys welcome back to another video we have a package here from a new brand that reached out to me and we are gonna unbox it she is on YouTube I will link her YouTube um, account up here for you all if you want to go subscribe she does really really good nails um I had never heard about her until I actually seen like one video pop up on my news feed and I watched it I commented and um, you know just complimenting I think the set that she did and she actually reached out to me and wanted to send me some of her acrylic powders monomer I think it's like a kit this is a startup starter kit for you all if you are looking for um, a kit to start off with that includes the basics so that's what I'm gonna be unboxing for you all today and it is 876 nails I believe is the name so yeah we're just gonna unbox it see what it's about this is giving you an honest review on everything and we're also gonna do a set to go with it so we'll get to see how everything works so everything did come very well packaged. Nothing was broken or leaking. And the monomer smell, I actually did not smell any monomer at all. So there is a little thank you card um, in her boxes and or her packaging. And you also get some monomer. I got an eight ounce of monomer. Now, um, this is all a kit that you get together. I'm not sure how many acrylic powders you get, but I will link it up here in the screen for you all once I check after I'm um, going through all of this. So I did get two powders. I got one in the shade Bubblegum Pink and I got the other one in Go To Nude. Super excited. I've seen her um, use both of these on her channel and they look very very like y'all know what consistency i like i like a milky consistency and they look like they are that so i'm super super excited to try them i also got some tips they are extra extra long coffin no c curve you get 500 in the box so i'm going to test these out with the set um let's just see how long they are you guys let's go ahead and open it Okay, so they aren't the flat ones, but they are no C curve. Usually flat is a little flatter, but they feel really, really sturdy, you guys. Um, they are extra, extra long. So this is definitely gonna be a cute set, you guys. And I'm not sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So the numbers go from, I'm guessing either zero to nine or one to 10, probably zero to nine. So yeah, I'm super excited to try those out. You also get, y'all, I hate when I wear these gloves because they get stuck to everything. But you also get some files that come in it as well. You get to choose what grit you want. I think she has 100 and then there's like 180 grit. I chose 100. Um, y'all know I use 8080 or 100 grit files. So um, we're gonna test these out. We're gonna use everything that came in here. Um, hopefully I can blend these two together somehow, some way. And yeah, I'm super excited. Let's see how they work, you guys. So starting off, we have this monomer. I believe this one is eight ounces and I love the packaging of it. Like I wish I had bottles like this. These bottles were really, really nice. Um, on the back, it just gives you the ingredients and just the warning label that legally we have to have on it. Um, and at the bottom, you will see her handles where you can contact her if um, you have any questions or if you want to purchase anything. So we are going to go right into it and we're going to be using this. And I was just showing y'all the bottle again because I was like, oh, this is so cute. Like, I love it. I love squeeze tubes. That's why I personally have squeeze tubes on my um, website because they're just easier and less messy. Um, so one of them is two ounces. One of them is one ounce. The bubble pink is two ounces. The go to nude is one ounce. And I'm just going to do two quick swatches for you all so you can get the feel of the consistency and what the color really is now, after this video um, after making this video I did contact her and I wanted her I wanted to know which colors would be a little bit more opaque because the colors that I have right here are a little bit more on the transparent side um, 
kind of like those jelly colors so that is what these colors were giving me especially the bubble pink which is really really cute and it actually reminded me of another acrylic powder which I'll get to in a second um but she told me that Naomi I think it's called Naomi nude or Naomi something it's Naomi on the site if you go to the site it's going to say Naomi that one is a little bit is more opaque so that is a deeper rich nude than this one so if you are looking for a more opaque color then I would say I would suggest you that you get the um the Naomi one versus this one but if you like this color then of course go for it um and then as far as the pink I believe there's an there's another pink on her website if I can find it right here I will um or I'll just put like a little slideshow of her website if I already didn't and you can just go through the colors and view for yourself but this one right here is bubblegum pink this is a two ounce and I also wanted to mention in this kit that you get you will only be receiving a two ounce bottle I believe that she put another one in there just so I could demonstrate it um I was padding that tip or that swatch stick because I wanted to see if it how fast it was drying this uh, monomer on the back does say that it is a fast drying monomer however I did not experience that uh, which is a good thing I do not like fast drying monomers I do not like fast drying acrylics um, I like them to be a little bit more on the medium set now if you are a beginner I don't know if I would suggest this monomer to you just because it might set a little quicker um, if you are just starting out and you need a lot more time to work with your acrylics because this did set in a timely manner but it was really good for me I love the setting of this um, monomer and the acrylic pair together but I'm sure honestly I know a lot of people say that monomers um, or acrylics aren't universal but I really feel that you can use acrylics with any monomer y'all like as long as the monomer is good you can use the acrylic with it so um if you do not want a fast drying or fast setting monomer then i would still recommend these products because i feel like they would probably pair really well with another monomer um young young nails is a universal monomer i hear kiara sky is a universal monomer but i have never tried kiara sky so i can't really speak on that but yeah these are the two colors you guys i wanted to put them against my skin tone so that you could see how they would look um i feel like these are very very neutral colors to go with any skin tone so uh, thumbs up for that and then the tips y'all the tips were really really nice and y'all y'all know how I go with the reviews so everything is honest here so as far as the acrylic so far the only thing that I would say is I would have preferred for them to be a little bit more opaque the first one that I swatched the bubble pink was really really cute to me but the first one that I swatched it wasn't really doing too much for me just because the color was really like transparent and i was expecting it to be a little deeper nude um especially for my skin tone against my skin tone i would prefer for it to be a deeper nude and in the beginning of this video where you saw me place her video um of her doing someone's nails um she was using naomi so that is the nude that i would go for if i had to choose again that is what i would purchase so fitting these nails or fitting these tips to the nail um as y'all know i already have my pop off method which is a uh, foil glue and matte top coat on my nails already so that i can pop these off right after i'm done i actually still have them on as i um do this voiceover so it's been a day i sometimes i keep them on if i'm not filming right away after um so it does last a few days if you want to do this pop off method i have a video for that if you want to go check that out i'll link it above right here for you all but um yeah so we're just gluing the tips on and y'all let me tell you that y'all know y'all know that sometimes tips can be weird and they won't glue on easily so that is what i kept this in the video for because i wanted to see how the tips went on and i lied to y'all not they were really really easy um, they glued on super fast, like I, low key, low key. They glued on faster than the tips that I normally use. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised to uh, see that. Um, obviously, I'm using my KDS glue. I always use this glue. It is a very um, quick setting, quick drying glue. So I like that for that as well. But yeah, the tips were a thumbs up. I um, have this tip cutter and this is 
this is a magnet that goes on your tip cutter obviously this is not from her website um you can find this on amazon in my amazon storefront in the description box below um you will see these under nail prep if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure that i have both of these links in my amazon storefront under nail prep and files and all that stuff so super super neat um tool if you don't have it you gotta get it like you have to get it it just measures everything perfectly so that you do not have to put the finger side by side but the only reason i put the finger side by side in the picture is to show you all that no matter where you place the tip no matter where you place the tip on the nail it is going to measure up to be the same if that makes sense so the magnets are if you don't have them and you're a nail tech and you do other people's nails or even yourself and you're always like trying to size them up and size each finger up it, it makes the process so much quicker so i'm so happy that i got them and can use that from now on instead of having to go hand to hand and switch and measure them but anyway i am using a size 12 panna brush or no not panna brush however i do have those linked in my amazon storefront as well if you want to go check that out um i do highly suggest panna brushes but i'm using a cad's brush today that i think i got this one off of amazon pretty sure i got this one off of amazon because this is my newer one um and yeah so as y'all can see the acrylic powder went on very very nicely super easy y'all already knew that from the beginning of this video um there really isn't too much for me to say about this acrylic powder the only thing that the only con that i have for this whole application was the color i was not really a fan of like how not nude but like how transparent the color was it wasn't a deep enough color for me um i feel like maybe it might look good on a different skin tone but for me i just this is giving more almost like clear it was almost like a clear base with a hint of pink it was giving like those cover pinks that you get out of those kits that say pink but is really not pink so um that was my only con for these acrylic powders other than that or for this particular acrylic powder other than that i would say that the consistency was exactly how i like it to be um i have no, I, yeah i really don't have anything bad to say about that um as far as this pink super super beautiful y'all know i love a pink and this was giving very much bubblegum pink it reminded me of the consistency of this pink and the color of it reminded me of valentino bubblegum pink however it was more pinky if that makes sense valentino bubblegum pink is more has like a purple undertone to it this one was really pink it was close very very close to um young nails cover flamingo if you have ever tried that that is kind of a similar it's pretty much almost the same but this one is a little bit like i don't know if this one is lighter or darker i think this one is a little lighter maybe but they're almost the same you guys so if you are looking for something like that and a little cheaper and in your price range then this will be the color to go to and the website to check out because these acrylic powders the two ounce is 13 dollars. no the two ounce is 15 dollars, and the one ounce is 11 dollars. so regular price you guys on the acrylic powders honestly for me anything that's over 15 dollars is a little pricey like uh, acrylic powder over 15 dollars, you're you're like you're you're getting a, ahead of yourself okay because why am i paying this much for one acrylic powder so i think 15 dollars is a great price point uh, 15 and below not polished be hitting you hitting us with the 18 and i just be like dang y'all like i know y'all good but dang 18 the 18 and then the two ounces i think be like 20 something or i don't know y'all but y'all know we love not polished so we sometimes we got to do what we got to do but these are a great a great price point so um let me know what y'all how are y'all feeling about this acrylic down below let me know because y'all know i love trying new acrylic powders i love it like it's like a high for me you guys <laughs> i love trying new acrylic powders and i love trying different brands and i love when i get brands like this oh y'all see that 
y'all see that oh y'all see that apex okay that nail was coming out beautiful so i had to show y'all a little side profile when you're doing nails you always want to check the side profile to make sure that everything is evened out and looking how you want it to look from each side this side and the other side so that right there was perfect for me i did have to do a little bit of filing um at the end but other than that it was really really nice but no, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I love when brands reach out to me and they want to send me products that are actually good. Like I love getting sent products that are really, really good. I actually, so far, honestly, I don't think I've ever been sent a product that was not good. And I'm getting to the point where it's kind of like, I feel like brands are looking at my YouTube and they know whether or not to send me some products, y'all. Like they know I'm going to give an honest review and they, they know which YouTubers to send some trash products to and which YouTubers are going to keep it real and probably put them out on front street. So I just feel like, <laughs> is that crazy to say? Oh Lord, watch me not get nobody, um, send me nothing now, but no, honestly, like if you were, if you were a brand and you were scared that somebody was going to give you a bad re review because you don't. Why was I just stuttering, Lord? But if you <laughs> if you knew that somebody might give you a bad review, that means I feel like in my personal opinion, I feel like you're not confident in your brand. You're not confident in your brand or, you know, like, you know, that your product is not, you know, hitting on nothing. So. I just feel like I'm at the point y'all see that apex now I did have to fill that part out with some clear acrylic but I did that on purpose um because I had to cap that nail anyway since it was an ombre so I just want to show y'all that other profile that other side profile because the apex on my nails were given today y'all like they were really given but um I'm getting so much better at application I tell y'all this all the time. I tell y'all this all the time. When you find a good acrylic powder, you guys, it's going to maximize your application. Like, I promise you, it's going to just elevate your application process. Like, it's going to be so much quicker. Y'all see how quick I, well, I ain't gonna say these were quick, but they weren't slow. I didn't take long at all to do these nails. Like this video might be a little long, but that's because I did the whole unboxing and I want to really talk to y'all. And I left two of the fingers in the, in the beginning in real time. I did that on purpose because I wanted y'all to see exactly how the application was and how this acrylic laid. So, um, yeah, work with good acrylics, you guys. I know when I first started YouTube, I told, I think I was telling people like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I was probably giving y'all some like crazy advice on what acrylic powders to use just because I didn't know no better. Like I really didn't know any better. And after you get the hang of acrylic and you start working with different brands and you see the different consistencies and you start to see like, like other, I just did a video. So I'm gonna let y'all check that video out. I'm gonna link it above right here for you all. I'm gonna let y'all check that video out and y'all will understand what I'm about to say. But when you are using acrylic powders that do not perform to the highest level or like really great, you are gonna notice that your application time is probably going to take a lot longer than it should. Like it's going to take a lot longer. When you are working with buttery acrylics, and very milky consistency type acrylics like this your application is going to go so fast like when i tell you it's going to go so much faster because you're just whipping through it it's easy to, to pull down you don't have to work too much with it it self levels like acrylic powders like this are what you want to go for and I always say I don't want to force y'all. I'm not forcing anybody to purchase anything that they don't want to. If you like other brands that I do not like, that is fine, you guys. Please don't take this as me trying to like bully you into purchasing just what I like. These are what work for me and these are what work best for me. And this is my channel. So I'm going to tell y'all what obviously what works best for me in my opinion. So um, yeah, you guys just get good brands, try good brands. Like even if it costs you a little bit more, try to get really, really good, smooth consistency type powders. And I promise you that application, your application game is going to go up 10 points. Like you're going to be making all the shots. Like you're going to be making all the shots the whole game. So I know I keep switching subjects, but we're going to get back to the gossip and messy 
topic that I want to hit on <laughs> in a second. But um, no, so uh, this right here, I'm doing decals, you guys, water decals. I have never done these before, ever. This was my first time. I did go on YouTube and I searched for a water decal video of how to do it. And basically, you just plop in the water. So that is what I did. And I was like, kind of thinking like, how are they supposed to stick on the nail? The video did not explain that to me. She put down a base coat, I think, but the base coat was not working for me. So I took it upon myself to use my thinking skills and put my brain to use. And I was like, maybe I'll just try some transfer foil gel on the next one. So the thumb right here is base gel or yeah, base um, top coat, base base coat whatever you call it, whatever you call it it was base coat and it was not working for me as good as I wanted it to it worked okay but it just was not staying down you're also going to have to watch the um the sides of the water decal because they can like hang off of the nail and you will have to trim them and then they'll pop up sometimes so I'm not sure I think there's another method I can't remember somebody somebody told me in a comment I think it was be nailed if i'm not mistaken she told me something about water decals and there's like two more extra steps that you're supposed to do with water decals that i did not do to get them to like lay flat um so but this is my process i went ahead and i used some mccart foil glue gel and i put it on the nail i cured it i only cured it for about 15 seconds if i'm not mistaken i think i did not fully cure it I cured it for 15 seconds because that is what works best for me. It makes it stickier for some reason um, versus curing it for the allotted time, which is 60 seconds to two minutes. So I did cure it for 15 seconds and I went ahead and I wet the decal. I pulled it off of the paper and you always want to dry the decal off. I do know that much. You want to dry it off before putting it on the nail so that it sticks properly. Um, this one stuck really really well i literally had no issues with this one right here thank god um i believe it stuck a little uh better too because it wasn't as big as the other ones that i was using and it fit the nail perfectly like side to side so just the whiff part was nothing was hanging off of the nail so if you are using water decals just make sure that you're fitting it properly to the nail and if you aren't then you have to you'll you will have to cut the sides of the decal to make it fit properly and so that it is not like hanging off the nail and no edges are coming out of the acrylic you will have to cap these i don't know if people um do them without capping them i don't see i don't see why you wouldn't cap these though i don't know I don't know if there's another way to do it and you just top coat them, but I don't feel like they would really stay as good if they're just top coated because I don't feel like they're as secure as stickers are. So that's just my opinion, but I am also very, very new to water decals. Like I said, this is my first time using them. So yeah, I got these water decals off of Amazon. If y'all want the link to them, they're like Halloween-ish decals. If y'all want the link to them, um, I will put it in my Amazon storefront. However, I don't think that they'll get to you before, uh, think, uh, bef not Thanksgiving, before Halloween. Um, I think they took like five days to get here because they are from a small business. I think, I think, I don't know. They will be in my Amazon storefront under rhinestone stickers, that section right there. Um, if you want to go check them out. So I'll put them up there after I finish recording this um, voiceover. I was just matching them up side by side and doing the same exact thing you guys y'all see exactly what i'm doing i'm placing the foil transfer glue down i am curing it for 15 seconds while i am curing it i am going ahead and dipping my water decal in the water that is just water in my bowl um and sliding the water decal off and when the nail foil glue is done curing for those 15 seconds i'm just plopping it right on just as you would a sticker and um, after I do all of this, I'm going to top coat all of the uh, water decals with a, you can use base gel or a regular top coat. It really doesn't matter. Um, just make it glossy so that 
the picture isn't like blurry or whatever. So that is what I did um, after I did that. And y'all will see that in a second. So back to the juicy stuff. Um, oh, first of all, before we even get into that, y'all, if you are purchasing from this website that I have shown you all today with the acrylic powders and the monomer and the nail kit. Um, the nail kit all together is $55. However, if you want to purchase that or anything else off of her website, I do have a code for 10% off, which is nailed 10. And I will link it above right here for you all. It will also be um, in the description box. I will leave her um, I will leave all her info in the description box and you can use my code at checkout for 10% off. Oh my God, y'all. Can we talk about how I missed my premiere yesterday? Like how embarrassing I was knocked out y'all. Like my sleep schedule has been wild. So I'm so sorry. Hopefully I am here for this premiere. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just, if I miss another premiere, you guys, I'm fired from ever doing any more. And another thing, if you have not liked this video yet, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video, y'all. And make sure that you're subscribed. I know with some new people here, I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. And I'm just so, so thankful for y'all subscribing and actually wanting to watch my crazy self. Like, <laughs> no, for real. Like, I it's seriously appreciate it. And welcome to the family y'all but yeah go ahead and click that subscribe button make sure your notification bell is on because y'all i plan to be uploading like i'm trying to i'm trying to upload a lot for the rest of this year well i'm trying to upload a lot for the time the length my lifetime on youtube but i don't know i've been in a really really good mood i've been having a crazy soup schedule but it's actually been panning out a little like well for me because when i wake up i'm super energetic and i have the most time to do nails i have this whole week off i do not have to go to nail school this week so y'all are going to be getting probably a video every day this week until um friday so y'all have about three more days of content i'm gonna try to get a video up for y'all on sunday as well if i can but i am going to a haunted house that's like two hours away from me on saturday it's called ashland berry farm if y'all want to go check it out if y'all are in the area i'm super excited i don't know about y'all in these haunted houses but i like a little thrill like i love scary stuff i love roller coasters i love scary movies they're like my thing okay poltergeist was my sh <laughs> okay 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 but back to what i was saying let's be serious and let's talk about what we're really here for so like i was saying i was joking around and i was saying that brands probably look at my youtube and they're like oh no mm -mm. like she's gonna give too honest of a review like do we have our together or what? So I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing for me because I don't feel like as many brands are going to reach out to me just because of how honest and transparent I am. But I'm okay with that. I mean, it's whatever. Like, I'm not going to change up how I am or be fake up here to appease or to please other, you know, these brands that I just feel like, I don't know how do I say this in in a good way in a nice way I just feel like if a brand doesn't care if they are sending out like trash products then why should I care to give you a good review like I'm never I just I'm just one of those people who I'm never gonna fake the funk like I, I just can't do it I'm an Aquarius I'm very blunt um yeah I'm Aquarius my rising is a taurus my son is a capricorn so y'all like i'm very or is it backwards is my rising a capricorn sun is a i don't know y'all but i got them all in me okay and so <laughs> i am very honest like i cannot hold my tongue for nothing and i just don't i feel like as a consumer because i still am a consumer even though i'm up here on youtube and i do reviews for brands and all that I still feel like I'm a consumer because I still spend my coins on on certain brands and I still spend my coins to even test them out for y'all. So if you're not being considerate and like pushing out a good product for me, then 
I'm not about to sit here and fake the funk and act like your product is just the best consistency or the best brand I've ever had or ever tried in my life. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that now. I have, I, I'm not gonna name no names, but I have seen a lot of YouTubers do them before. But that ain't none of my business, okay? That's none of my business. So I'm gonna just stay in my lane and I'm gonna do what I do and everybody else can do what they do. So if you have a really good acrylic powder brand or nail brand I will say a nail brand because the nail brands don't always have to sell acrylic powders they can sell other stuff if you have a good brand and you are wanting to reach out and get a good review and push your content and your your brand out there I'm the person for you because I'm a I'm gonna give you a real review y'all I'm gonna give y'all a real review but I just want to say that because I've been seeing a lot of um YouTube videos y'all and I don't, you know, it's not, it's never my place to say nothing because I really don't care. Like everybody YouTube is their YouTube and they might even actually be genuine in saying that they love the acrylic powder and they really do. And that might just be their consistency. But baby, if I got to sit there and play around with this acrylic powder on my nail and it's just doing whatever it wants to do and I'm working for it and it's not working for me, then that is not the acrylic powder for me. But if y'all want to convince y'all subscribers to go ahead and purchase some acrylic powders that they really not going to be able to work with them by all means do you but that is not what I am giving on this channel okay <laughs> but no you guys I say all that to say that this brand right here I will give this brand an 8 out of 10 the reason I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 instead of a 10 is one the acrylic powders that I got today were not as pigmented as I would like them to be however she does have other acrylic powders up there like I said Naomi or Naomi and there's another one called I think it's called Kalia or or Cal or I think it's called Kalia um but that one is like a really really pretty color a darker like deeper color she does have deeper colors on her website I just did not get to experience that so I cannot place my rating off of colors or shades that I did not get to review obviously so just basing them off of these colors right here I do give them an 8 out of 10 the consistency was exactly how I like it to be I wish it flowed a little bit more and I wish it polymerized a little bit quicker however it still once I put it down it still did the same thing that I love my acrylic powders to do um another thing was that i wish she had more of a selection as far as colors because y'all know i love i love 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 colored acrylic like i love colored acrylic um more so than nudes like nudes are cute but i use colored acrylic way more than i do nudes so that is just personal preference for me um so outside of that honestly i have no i i don't really have anything to say I don't feel like her prices are overpriced I feel like it's a good price point for all of her um for all of her uh products the even the monomer the monomer is really really good priced so I was looking at everything I was looking at all the prices on the website her tips there's 500 for like 13 dollars super good deal um and the tips are really nice like the tips y'all the tips I do, like, honestly, the tips I really do recommend, like, MBS, y'all know what that stands for, that abbreviation. I recommend the tips. I really, really like them. Like, I think they're really cute. And they, these are coffin, and I usually don't do coffin. Um, I usually do, like, a tapered square look, but these were almost giving tapered square. So, I don't know. They were cute to me, and they were really long, so I think they were the perfect length of how I like to do them and yeah it was just everything was good so I don't have too many complaints the complaints that I do have I already told y'all so do what you will with that information this brand was an 8 out of 10 for me you guys um but into the design I was not look after I did this design y'all I was like this looks like pop art this looks like I'm trying to do pop art but I really wasn't like I really was not trying to do pop art but then I was looking at I was going on Instagram today earlier before I did this voiceover and I was like I think I did nail like these nails look like I was trying to do a pop art but I really wasn't it's so crazy but now I'm thinking maybe I should do pop art so I don't know you guys I might do another um pop art set I'm thinking about it I just feel like everybody's doing it so I don't know y'all know how I feel about when everybody does stuff 
and then I do it and then it looks like I'm copying but really everybody on YouTube is literally doing pop art so it's really not me copying anything so I don't know I might do it I might not I'm thinking about doing a bling set instead because I've been dying to do this bling set and yeah so I don't know but this is literally all I did I just did some drips I didn't really explain what I was doing because obviously y'all can see it was a very very simple design you guys like literally the design was so simple I did drop drips on the pointer and the pinky and then I outlined the middle and the ring finger with a pink and I just did a few lines on the sides. That was literally it. Um, it wasn't too much explaining to do. So that's why I didn't talk you guys through it. But right now I'm just making um, accent lines on the drips to make it a little more poppy, pop art, <laughs> pop arty. And um, I'm using that same pink that I did on the middle and the pointer finger or the middle and the ring finger. And yeah, that's all I did you guys like I thought it was super cute though like I thought it came out really really cute especially with the with the water decals like underneath it and it was kind of giving like this gory look so is that a word gory I don't know but it was cute it was cute to me it was giving very much very much um Halloween-ish design so I was happy about it right here I did go ahead and I did not know what to do with the thumb you guys so I just ended up doing um, an outline of it but not fully I just went ahead and did those little like accent lines that you've been seeing with the pop art excuse me on either side I went ahead and I did one side in the neon yellow green whatever color that is and the other side in the hot pink and that was pretty much it for the design you guys like after that after this I do go ahead and top coat my nails with the ultimate finish gel by young nails y'all know i love that top coat i'm actually running out i think i have an extra one somewhere but i don't know i didn't use that thing up i use that baby up i love that stuff between that and dynamic nail supply top coat i am not sure if she has a top coat on her website but obviously you can go check to see this is just what i got in the kit i did not get any top coat with it so i did have to use my own um i am going to top coat in a glossy top coat the pinky and the pointer finger and the thumb and you will see me top coat the other nails as well um I don't know matter of fact I don't think I showed that but my middle finger and my point my oh my god I can't I can't speak my middle finger and my ring finger are going to be matte so I did go ahead and make two fingers gloss or three fingers glossy and my middle finger is matte I just thought it looked better it was like when I did it all glossy, which I don't think I show in the picture, except for right there, um, it was just looking too, I don't know, like it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. So I was like, you know what, let me switch it up and let me make, let me make two of these fingers matte and see how it looks right there. It was cute, but it was like too pretty and that it wasn't what I wanted to go for. So I did go ahead and make the two middle fingers matte and then I kept the rest glossy and I thought it came out cute. I thought it came out cute like that. Let me know down below if y'all would have per preferred for me to do them all glossy. I thought that it was cute with the two matte and the rest glossy. I don't usually do that. But anyway, you guys, don't forget to check out her website and use the code for 10% off in the description box. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. Mwah. Bye.